play. It was a conference final. Tonight at the Coliseum, the Isles with a super effort beat the Canadians 4-1. to one. Second period, no score. Canadians with pressure on Glenn Healy. Paul DiPietro is able to pop home a third try. 1-0 Montreal at 6-22. About seven minutes later, Isles dump it in on Patrick Waugh. Steve Thomas will pick it up and beats Waugh. Top shelf, short side, game tied at one. Third period, Ray Ferrar with the crossing pass in front to Pat Flatley, and the Isles took a 2-1 to one lead. About about four and a half minutes later, watch this one. Yui Krupp will come around and shoot. Tom Fitzgerald will follow before David Volok lit the lamp, giving the Isles a 3-1 advantage. New York forces game five with a 4-1 win. Now, for more on tonight's game between the Islanders and the Flying Frenchman, let's go live to the Coliseum and News 12's Mike Zimmett. Mike. All right, Carl, game just ended. One of the guys who just set up uh, David Volek for a gorgeous pass is Yui Krupp. Yui, I know you're tired, but it's got to feel great. Well, we're still alive, and uh, we came out, we executed our game plan. We were strong, we were split smart, and... Uh, we put some packs behind Patrick Roy, and that's the game. I noticed one thing. You put much more pressure on him, especially midway through the second, late in the third, than you did the first few games. Yeah, I think we were a little more confident after a while. We knew from the last two games that uh, we, had, we can't play hesitant or half-fast. We have to go all out, and uh, we got to try to give him as little room as possible in the neutral zone, and it worked out tonight. Did you guys get a little nervous just scoring the one goal, saying, geez, we still need more than one goal to win this game? Yeah, it seemed at the start that it's the same game as last game, but uh, we just kept putting pressure on them, and uh, eventually they folded, and we got some goals. You've got to make them thinking now, hey, these guys are far from dead. Well, I think uh, they're, they're very confident playing their own building. We're going to have a work cut out for us in there. Um, but uh, it feels great to give these people another good show for us, and. Uh, we, like I said before, we're still alive, and uh, hey, maybe we got another one in here, so we're going to go all out there, and uh, you know, if we, I hope we win, and if we lose, we're going to go down with flying colors and going all out. Yui, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, that is Yui Krupp, and Carl, again, the big key for this game, besides Glenn Healy coming up big again, is the Islanders putting much more pressure on Patrick Waugh, and just like the Pittsburgh series, they are finding out that Waugh is indeed human. The more they bombard him, the greater the chances of getting that puck past the net. That is what they did. So, yes, there is a Game 5, and we will be there for News 12 in Montreal on Monday night. Reporting live from the Nassau Coliseum, I'm Mike Zimmett. Carl, back to you. All right, Mike, and the Isles keep their record intact. have never been swept in a seven-game seven series.